Hello everyone, <laughs> in this tutorial I will be teaching you how to add a custom camera to your character or to anything you wish. So first things first, I came across this land here and I was told that in that room is the portal to being better at UDK. Now my character can't seem to find a way in there, as we shall see. When the mobile preview loads. There we go. So as you can see, so as you can see, there's that magical room over there that I need to get into, and uh. I just, I can't see any way of getting in there. There's trees and stuff, you know. Can't just get in there by jumping. That doesn't work. So, I think I need to find a way to project my vision into there to see actually what really is in there. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and swap into unlit mode to make my life a bit easier. First of all, I'm going to add a trigger volume try and trigger something. So if I right click in this room uh, I'm going to add an actor and add trigger and go ahead and place that inside of our sphere here or wherever you like really it doesn't matter. Um, press F4 you better get these stuff up here, the X properties. I'm just having a look at the cylinder component because I want to make the height of the collision about double. So I'm going to make it quite a lot more that's better. And the radius is going to be up as well. That's much better, so I'm definitely going to hit that. Okay. And then we need to have our next eyes, or our camera. So if you go to your content browser, go to Axe Classes, and you'll see that under Common we have Camera Actor. Now click on it, it closes. I'm going to right click and add a camera actor here. Now, that's not a really good place for the camera, is it? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and click this I button, lock selected access to camera, click the camera, and then using WASD and right click, or however you please, we're going to just go into this box. Oh, look at that. There is the portal to our next level of UDK learning. So <laughs> there we go. So I'm happy with that there. So I'm going to click this button again, move my camera, and you can see the camera's now nicely positioned there. And I'm going to leave that selected there. Alright, so I'm going to open up Kismet, which is this K button here. And we're going to do a bit of basic Kismet programming. So, the first thing we're going to do is right click and add the object variable using camera actor 1. And I'm going to go ahead and go into our room, select the trigger, like so, and add a right click, new event using trigger 1. Now we could use all of these, but I'm going to use touch because I want to do this when I touch it. Now if I on control and click you can move this around. So there we go. And once you've clicked on this, it'll pop like this. You go to um sequent event touch. No, I mean sequent event. And match trigger count is currently on one, which means it can only use once, which is probably fine, but to make sure we're gonna set to zero, which means unlimited. And we're just gonna go ahead and leave that like that. Now the next thing we're going to do is right click anywhere in Gizmo and add an action which is camera, set camera target there we go, and we want to make it so when we touch in, so in means you know what's going to trigger it so our target, our cam target sorry, is our camera and our target is obviously our player so if we press P move that out a bit and set our target to that so let's go ahead and test that could it really be this simple? Look at that bad level designer leaving the roof. It's the cube. Oh, look, but where's the portrait gone? Oh, the monks must have stolen the camera. It's unfortunate. A bit angry with that, really. <laughs> so, okay, that's one basic way of setting your camera. So, say if you are playing multiplayer uh, games and you'd like to have your camera so that you can go up to a command station and have it so that when you sort of click on that or hit it or whatever or 
press use on it or whatever you're using on your mobile game um, that you could then see that area like a, a CCTV 